One in, is in the gi. Uh, first up in the blue corner from Armstrong Academy of Martial Arts, Thomas Armstrong. in the red corner from Govna BJJ, David Channer. Six minute match, two gentlemen, master competitors. Quick pull and sweep by Thomas Armstrong there, but he's now. Uh, that was David, that was David Channer, sir. Thomas Tom, Armstrong Thomas pulled. Armstrong. Through. Thomas Armstrong's on the top. Yeah, he pulled and then he swept quickly, Aaron. <laughs> Pay attention to the match. <laughs> now, David Channer's locked up a reverse triangle. He's got the head and arm trap now. He just needs to he's switch his to angle. It out. He may have a potential triangle here. It looks like he's like modifying into like a buggy choke. 30 seconds in. If he pinches his armpit down on the top of Thomas Armstrong's head, it may put potentially more pressure on it. Like, Thomas doesn't seem to be reacting to it too much. Too much yeah. panic. David is David's very calm in this position. He's just waiting to see if Thomas is going to make a, a mistake more than anything. But I think he's going to simply just try to isolate that arm as he tries to pull his hip across. And what David could try is he switches to a reverse triangle, cuts the angle, and then he can maybe invert under a butt, and then mm -hmm. that can create a bigger bite. Thomas is starting to try to work to try and turn those hips yeah. over to the other side. Thomas can get his right arm in, grab the collar, he can potentially stack out or stack his way out of the triangle, or he's starting to fix his posture. David's keeping him broken down with that hand on the shin, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, David's doing a really good job of just keeping his posture broken, not making any like sudden movements, trying to keep him tight, to keep breaking him down every time Thomas tries to kind of reestablish himself, recenter himself. He just keeps breaking him down bit by bit, even though they're not like big movements. Nope. David Channer's just doing these small little subtle things just to make sure that he can maintain that posture control. Uh, Again. He's hiding the arm. I think he needs to switch his angle. If he can switch his angle, he can potentially finish this even with the reverse triangle locked and Thomas hiding, hiding the arm. Yeah. Both competitors are very relaxed, very experienced individuals. You know, they're making sure they don't make any sudden movements, try to break each other. It's kind of the war of attention right now. See who's going to really kind of break down. Absolutely. David is still working that triangle. He's pulled out the lapel. Still working to try to get the, either the arm across or he's looking to potentially sweep. I think he's going to try and go for a sweep now. I think he's realizing he's not going to be able to get that arm out, so I think he's going to try and get underneath that leg. Possibly like the pen. You can also oh, switch to a switch that grip or wrist lock. He needs to get that arm across the body. If he can get that across the body, he can set up some potential finishes. Yeah, Thomas is, he is, he's deep in that triangle right now. Yep, that's what he needs to do. He needs to switch his angle, and he needs to start working that elbow across. He needs to get that. Three minutes remain. Three minutes remain. Thomas with the quick sweep to get on top to open the match, but now he's stuck in a triangle. He's stuck in a triangle, but he is up two points right now, so he still has to, David Janner still has to do some work here, because right now, keep him in this triangle, but he's still gonna lose the match, so. He needs to focus on tightening up that lock. He needs to flare open that left elbow and try to get it across the body. He's looking for a shoulder crunch on the other side. He's trying to go to that shoulder crunch. I don't know if he's got the right angle for it, He'll have to shift his hips yeah, a little bit more. Oh, he might have it now. Yeah, there it, it is. There it go. is. That is it. Put the far shoulder. arm and then tighten nice. it up. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. That was. Wasn't sure if he had it at angle that he needed, but he was able to just create enough space just to get that angle. He was able to compress everything in, get the shoulder into the head, and 
finish the triangle. Oh, that was a stellar performance. Very smart. Very kind of like war of attrition. See who was going to break first, who was going to make the first mistake. Step by step, just breaking uh, Thomas Armstrong down into that triangle. Your winner by submission, David Channer. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have both of you guys come over here. Thomas, come on down here, David. So let's Thomas, let's start with you. Uh, th thank you for coming out. Uh, you uh, tough loss, but uh, talk 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 to us about uh, running an academy full time and then having to uh, prepare yourself these kinds of competitions and uh, and trying to keep that mindset going right as an as an academy owner again I, I, I got a lot of admiration for you guys right like it does it takes a lot for guys uh, our age and like the master twos master threes to keep this kind of uh, mindset going so please share share with share with the crowd uh, things that keep you going yeah it's a lot of management I have four kids too so I get four kids again we have Rain on one of the main events here so trying to get her ready trying to get myself ready just a lot of management, a lot of hard work. Can't slip off at any time because you'll fall behind, right? So just, just busy, busy. Well, you're, uh, you continue to be active in the, comp uh, the competition scene, so we really, really appreciate your efforts. And, uh, you know, uh, keep, keep plugging away, and we hope to see you again soon, okay? Guys, Thomas Armstrong. <laughs> My man. So at the academy, at, at our academy, we teach a lot of that... Um, looking for opportunities once you make a mistake um, and um, something I love to share with our students is when you make a mistake it's not dwelling on the mistake it's taking advantage of the opportunity that comes from that mistake and you got taken down really quickly you got swept really quickly and it seems like you just drill kind of like that triangle entry uh, as soon as they like they leave their head and arm out there um, and also what I noticed is you changed your angle on the triangle so he couldn't stack you. So um, please tell me that I'm accurate. Uh, yeah, you're accurate. Um, so, yeah, I messed up right at the beginning. Uh, she, got the, she got the take down. Um, but fortunately for me, he fell right, right into the triangle. Um, those who know me, that is my absolute bread and butter since white belt. So um, from there, I was like, okay. I've got different options. Yeah, I didn't get, the, as you could see, the traditional, get his arm across. He, he had the back of my lapel, so he was holding that down for a while. And then once I adjusted, I felt it getting tighter and tighter. And then I was like, all right, we're here. I just wanted it to listen to you explain it, to be quite honest. Six. 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 Six.